This is Jim from TechBuzz and we're going to be talking about Point, the new home smart alarm after the break. Pretty cool idea. Check it out after the break. Is you'll just get the steel plate, remove the sticky pad, and that's it. Installation is complete. You couldn't ask for anything simpler. And that's it, like installation, you couldn't ask for something simpler, which is excellent. So what this can do is can do a lot of features, um, more than you might think without a camera. So it can detect movement, recognize other alarms like smoke alarms and stuff like that, brass flaking tampering and the pure evidence of tampering is there you can see there on the app now I've been moving the point to take one off to show you and you can also get noise level humidity mold risk path light and temperatures and all that in your house all that through an app and that's it and the, the great thing about this is you just place it up on the roof and forget about it more or less until you need to charge it and you reckon around you get six months or so it uh, won't charge now obviously I don't have it that long to confirm that but it's been sitting there over a week now as I had to leave it there for a mold test to see <clears throat> if that was working and that's all there is to it so if we go into the app what I'm going to do is turn the brightness down a bit here you can see there that I've got notifications that I've been messing about with and that was obviously to show you um, how sensitive it is and how good it works. So I've took it off and put it back up and that'll be it on that. So if you go into the point app itself then and we'll just turn that off there. You can see there that I have the alarm off. So I'm going to explain that to you now in a minute. So in here is your points and it'll tell you some information about your house. So up here we have kitchens which is where I have it installed for now. You have your temperature here decibels which is noise, mold risk which of none and you have your humidity as well which is 70% today so that's pretty much it there you can add family members in the app which is excellent so you can give them monitoring as well so if anything goes wrong wherever you can message people in the app which is cool as well <clears throat> now the thing is this is self monitoring so you're going to have to check all this yourself there's no backup. Uh, if your Wi-Fi gets cut off or anything like that, uh, that will get cut off, obviously. So you have to keep that in mind as well. And then you have your log here in the app. So you can see here that it was moved. There was motion detection. <clears throat> it was offline, back online. The alarm was muted. And all the notifications come up like so. And if you just go in here, you'll see a little man running, which is telling you that it was motion that set off the alarm so you go back here you can see when I turn her on and when I turn her off and when there's motion detected and so on and when I set it up so once you turn her on you press it sync it to start away and then just let your phone do the rest with that and it all syncs up and it can also pick up as I said other alarms you might have in the house like smoke detectors or stuff like that so if you go into the actual app itself, you can see here there's more features. You can add a home to it, just integrations. You can refer friends, you've got a help center. You have in-app support, which looks like that, which is pretty cool. There's no actual phone to phone them or anything like that, but I like, the com I like this setup here and how this is laid out. It's pretty nice and pretty simple to use. And you can search for articles um, if you want in here. So if you have a problem, search for an article in there so back onto the app so I have my house here and obviously this is the logs here and um, you can add a home so you can create a new home or join an existing home and you have your help center here like so to help point work getting started and using the point and so on so if you're having any setup problems um, check out here but one thing I will this is another app that will require your location on I find to work quicker and get it set up so it's just something to keep in mind and um, 
Over here, um, you have another option here for settings um, for your voice and so on. If you want to use that, and again, location is key. So you have your profile there, so you can add your profile picture, or you can change your profile to this here. Um, we've done the how point works, so we just give you a quick look. And you'll go through here like so, and it's basically just the same. You can give other people access to the app itself. They don't need to actually have, have a point um, in the house. So you have Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant as well in there. And that's really about it in the app. So if you go down here for your home, you can add family members, which I didn't bother doing because I just don't bother with people with stuff like this. You can send messages, send feedback to minutes, charge your point. So it'll take you around five hours. You then have the rest of the stuff in the app here that has been completed. Your account, your home, installation points, get detected by points, try out the siren, detect other alarms of all this set up here. And that's basically it in the app there. So the only thing to do then is turn on the alarm. And what I'll do is I'll walk under it now. And a white light will come on onto the unit itself with the flash once and then it'll go off. And now you have this amount of time left to turn the alarm off. In that interim, you'll get a notification up on your phone and the alarm is pretty loud, so people are going to hear it, which is the idea. And the great thing is, as I said, there's no camera here, so privacy is of key now with a lot of people. This doesn't have and it's open point focused on as well. Having this system with no data or stuff like that, and that's really a cool idea. So the alarm's gonna go off. So you can notify friends and silence the alarm and that's it. You're done and dusted. So that's how simple it is. It's a simple plug and go and just leave it there and let it do its thing. And pretty cool idea. Um, and you know, you can't really go wrong. You're not gonna notice it. It doesn't stick out more than your house either. It's very minimalist minimalistic and it's not gonna bother you. So that's it for the point home smart home alarm for a minute. Pretty cool. Any questions hit me up at techbusorin.com and I'll see you in the next one.